If you've been following the progress of Across America, the 2013 mission flight of Solar Impulse, you may be wondering what we've been up to throughout the month of April. Well, it's been a very busy time in and around Moffett Airfield. We've had events with our partners, we've had conferences, and lots of enthusiastic school children. And the week kicked off in style with a visit from someone who started a certain technology company that I suspect some of you may have heard of. It's amazing to actually see it in person. I think it's such a big, large, lightweight structure that you can really see all the engineering that went into making that all work. You know, I'm a big fan of the technology and I think that it could, uh, even today, be deployed much more widely than it is now. The fact that they've taken an old industry and turned it on its ear and showed an absolutely new way to do something is really impressive. And it really encapsulates the entrepreneurial spirit. And certainly we see a lot of that in the Valley. And I know there are a lot of partners in the Valley as well that are involved in this project. It's, it's certainly inspiring, not only to us internally as a research community, giving us something really to aim for, to strive towards, uh, but also to help us with showing our partners and collaborators what we can do together. And th there's nothing more symbolic than the plane behind us to show some of the things that we can achieve together. It's a good chance for the next generation to see how they could like work with the um, energy sources that we have instead of using fossil fuels. And I think Solar Impulse is really great because it's the beginning of a re revolution. The team has got to build something they wanted to build and I think that that's really inspiring for the kids, teaching them to follow their dreams and, and, to, and to push the limits of what's possible. We think Solar Impulse is awesome! Another example of when just when you think something can't be done or people are telling you it can't be done, someone goes and does it. Hello everybody. Then you look at the cockpit and you think how special that person must be to be trained to be able to fly for that long uh, in that cramped of a space. It's just got to be an amazing feat of uh, endurance that um, not too many people could do. I mean, innovation is out there. I mean, we really need to get get a grasp on it. I mean, throughout solar, I, I mean, just with the plane itself, it has so much remarkable aspects to it that why don't we use this in everyday life? I mean, we can be powering houses like this. We can be doing so much more with the same technology that we have today. It's like we honestly really should be jumping on this. Oh, it's just a wonderful experience. It's almost full circle because SunPower built one of the early solar-powered airplanes for NASA, uh, the Helios, and uh, that's really what jump-started SunPower into its uh, current business of uh, making flat panel solar arrays. So to see it go full circle and uh, the next big innovation coming along like this is tremendously rewarding to uh, all the SunPower team and, and me particularly. It reminds us all to dream. I think, you know, Big dreams like this drive innovation, uh, having these crazy big thoughts and trying to pull off something that's truly epic and that's never been done before it is incredibly important because it inspires all of us. Um, this, this story, the story of, of this solar plane is truly incredible. It's a convergence of all kinds of things that people know about, but putting it together in this forum, I, don't th I think very few people know about this and I think this is important. Of course, you know, I'm supportive of solar energy and the efforts that we're making in this country, especially with the president's emphasis on solar. And so I wanted to be here for that, but I'm, I'm pretty amazed. Yeah.